Hello, hello, thank you for watching another episode of Cooking with Gravy with Jason Graves. Today's recipe we're going to make zucchini rolls. Now, today's recipe is going to have plenty of zucchini, plenty of flavor, and the reason it's going to taste great is because my dad always told me it's because it's made with love. Now, today's recipe is going to be a party uh, based item, it can be a snack based item, whatever you want. It's more of a carefree, uh, good idea moment of just making a good meal. Now today we're going to start off with a peeled zucchini that we're already cut in strips. Some people will do it with a knife if you get a good steady hand. Uh, I do not, but we have a nice little cutter here that you can control the thickness of each slice. So we cut them to the appropriate uh, portions and call it a day. Uh, you can usually pick those up on Amazon for a couple of bucks. Now we got some hummus right here. We got some shredded cheese. Uh, naturally you could pick any type of hummus or shredded cheese, whatever you want. Now we got sandwich meat. We got some ham in there. We're going to be using some cumin seasoning. We're going to be using paprika. We're going to be using some parsley. Salt and pepper. And we have a combination of garlic, onion, and curry powder in this little container. Now, this recipe is just going to be nice, easy, lazy. You can pick any type of hummus, any type of meat or cheese. It's uh, it's a party item, so you can actually be as festive as you want or pick it a certain style. Uh, for the zucchini, uh, we you, it can be uh, pre-cooked uh, before we start. It can be uh, grilled before we start. Uh, we're doing a little bit of uh, some raw zucchini and baking it later on. Uh, I recommend just putting some of the layer of hum hummus on the uh, zucchini strips. It has more of a, a sticky surface then you can put the rest of your ingredients on there. Now the seasonings, just put a light coat of your seasoning on there. It's a more of a, if it's more of a party appetizer, you don't need them to be too terribly strong, but you do need them to be flavorful. So just watch what you put on there. Now if you do bake them in the oven at the end, I, the reason I'm doing this is because I like the more of a melted texture in these. Some people like to have them a little more raw, so you get more of that crunch from the zucchini. Doesn't hurt. Just enjoy it. Now, a nice little fun idea I recommend with working with parsley. The nice thing about parsley is it's a green color or any type of red colors or any bright colors. They usually see is more of the topping or something. The first thing that the eye sees, because if you're going to be treating yourself to a good meal, you always want to make sure you treat yourself good. So there, there is no shame in that. Now, if you're going to make these for a party, leave them in the fridge. It'll stay crisp. Uh, if it's going to be using the raw zucchini, I try not to leave them out that long. And like any good roll, I recommend a toothpick to put it together. Make sure it stays all nice and pretty. When you're rolling them up, just try not to put too much in there. The nice thing about this type of recipe, it's more laid back than anything else. It can be experimented with, it can be altered like any other recipe. The nice thing about this is that you can change it to any style you want. And the, for example, if we are doing a southwestern type of style meal or this is going to be a southwestern type of like hors d'oeuvre this can be cha you could be altering the hummus to a black bean hummus you could pick more of uh, some spicier types of seasonings uh, more so even some types of chili flake in there some chili powder uh, you can pick some type of spicy cheese the nice thing about this recipe is that it's flexible like any other recipes and you don't need to be too terribly accurate. You just need to make something that's tasty and enjoy it. Now, this is the final product right here. We decided to bake uh, half of this after we were done. It was pretty tasty. No real complaints at all. We love cooking around here. And we we'll hope you folks enjoyed watching. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Bye.